Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I will be solving some more post repair questions as I did, um, as I solved a few in the last video. So we'll start with this question. This is from October, November 2017, 2019 actually, paper one, variant two. Okay, now, so this question says, the coefficient of x square in the expansion of four plus ax uh, plus uh, into one plus x upon two, the whole thing to the power six is three. Find the value of the constant a, okay. So what you're really looking for is the coefficient of x square, okay? And it's not just one expansion for which you have to find the coefficient of x square, it's one expansion, which is then multiplied by four plus ax. So that means this requires a bit of thinking, okay? And as I said in the last video, that you have to be one step ahead of the question, okay? So what do I mean by that? So here's what I mean. So if you're multiplying two terms, one of them is a constant and the other already has x in it, and you're looking for the coefficient of x square, so let's do some thinking before we find out what are the terms that we really want from this expansion. Obviously, we could always expand the whole thing and then just put the appropriate terms, okay? But that's not a very good idea, is it? Okay, so this is what we really want. If you start from four, okay, so four is a constant, which means that if I want to multiply it by something so that I get x squared at the end, so what I'm really looking for is just the term with x squared, or in other words, just the coefficient of x squared, okay? Then we put a plus sign, and now we bring our attention towards this, ax. So if, what should I multiply this ax with, so that in the end, I have x squared, and that is whatever the coefficient of x is. Why? So that ax, and multiplied by whatever term that you have along with x, makes x squared, okay? So that means that what we're really looking for from this expansion is the coefficient of x and the coefficient of x squared. Now, since we want the coefficient of x, let's start with the coefficient of x first, and we can see that as far as this expansion is concerned, which is one plus x upon two, the whole thing to the power six, since in this, you have x in the second term, and you want the coefficient of x, so you can start by simply having r as one, okay? So when you do that, you have six c one, okay? One to the power six minus one, which is five, x upon two to the power one, okay? so. 6c1 is 6, 1 to the power of whatever is going to be 1, into x upon 2, and this becomes 3x, okay? Now you want the coefficient of x square in the same expansion, which is 1 plus x upon 2 to the power 6. So for this, r should be equal to 2. That means 6c2, 1 to the power 6 minus 2, which is 4, x upon two to the power two. So 62 is six into five, 30, 30 upon two is 15, into x square upon four. You can see that I've ignored one power four because it's not gonna make any difference. So what we have is 15 upon four x square. So that means now we know what are the terms to multiply four plus ax with so that we get x square at the end, okay? And they are 15 upon four x square, okay, plus, 3x, okay, so we start by four. We multiply four by 15 upon four x square. So four into 15 upon four x square plus ax into three x gives me three ax square, okay? And uh, let's simplify this. So four and four gets canceled out and now we have 15 x square plus three ax square. Now, if you scrape off just the coefficient, which we'll have to eventually, so you have 15 plus three a. Okay, it's like taking x squared common, if that's how you wanna see it. And this is equal to what? This is equal to three, okay? Not according to me, but according to the question, okay? You can see it over here. It says that the coefficient of x squared is equal to three, okay? So now we solve this, we say three a is equals to three minus 15, which is minus 12. And this is enough to give us the value of a, and a is equals to minus four. Let's see if that's the correct answer. Yep, that's the correct answer. So there you go, that's it, question solved. Okay. <clears throat> Now, here's a question which I'm gonna skip because um, we've solved similar questions, okay? And uh, I would like you guys to try this out, okay? In fact, so you have 18 part A, fairly simple, and 18 part B. In fact, I think I've solved this question. In fact, I haven't solved this question, but I've solved a question that's very similar to this, so you guys are very welcome to try this out, okay? Now, the question that I wanna solve is uh, this one. This is from October, November 2020, paper one, variant two. In fact, let me see if I can solve some other question. Okay, let's do this question instead, okay? This is from major 2021, paper two, variant one. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, this says the coefficient of x in the expansion of 4x plus 10 upon x, the whole thing to the power 3 is p, and the coefficient of 1 upon x in the expansion of so-and-so is q. Okay. Then it further says that given that p is equals to 6q, find the possible values of k. So it's a slightly different question, although the concept that we're going to be using is the same. There's no new concept that we're going to be using in this question, but uh, it's a little more stretched out. Okay. So... Let's start by finding out the coefficient of x in the expansion of this, okay? So in this, if you notice that you have x in both the terms, so again, we're looking for the value of r that gives us the coefficient of x. So 3cr, 4x raised to the power 3 minus r into 10 upon x to the power of r. So what we do is we ignore everything that does not have x. That means we ignore 3cr, we ignore 4, and we ignore the 10. So x raised to the power of 3 minus r into x raised to the power of minus r is equal to x. Okay, so I've done a couple of steps at once, and that is I've moved x from the denominator to the numerator, and it has set, and that's the reason why it's become minus one, which then multiplied by r and became minus r. So now we're looking at x to the power three minus two r, which is equal to x to the power one. So now we ignore the bases, compare the powers. So three minus two r is equals to one, which means two r is equals to two, which means that r is equals to one. Okay, so three c one, 4x to the power 3 minus 1, that's mean, that means it's equal to 2, 10 upon x to the power of 1. Okay, so 3c1 is 3 into 16x squared into 10 upon x. So 3 into 16 is 48, 48 into 10 is 480, x squared upon x is x. Now as far as the coefficient goes, the coefficient is equals to 480, and that's what the question called p. So that means p is equals to 480. Okay. So that's sorted out. Now we bring our attention towards uh, this binomial, and that is 2x plus k upon x squared to the power 5. And in this, we're looking for the coefficient of 1 upon x. So that means x to the power minus 1, really. Okay, so again, we're looking for the magical value of r. So 5cr, 2x to the power 5 minus r into k upon x squared to the power of r. And this we're going to set equal to x to the power minus 1. So we ignore 5cr, we ignore the 2, we ignore the k, and now we're looking at x to the power 5 minus r into x to the power minus 2r. Okay, again, I've done two steps at once, equals to x to the power minus 1. So this becomes x to the power 5 minus 3r, same bases are being multiplied, so powers are going to be subtracted, equals to x to the power minus 1. So 5 minus 3r equals to minus 1. 3r equals to, oops, sorry, 3r equals to 6, which means r is equal to 2. Okay. Now that you have the value of r, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out the coefficient of one upon x. So five c two, because two is the value of r, two x to the power five minus two, that's three, and k upon x square to the power of two. So if the value of r that we found is correct, we should end up with one upon x. So five c two is 10, two x whole cubed is going to be eight x cubed into k square upon x to the power four. Okay, so let's see what we're looking at x cubed gets cancelled out and in the denominator we reduce the power from 4, I mean we subtract the power by 3, so 4 minus 3, and now we have what? We have 80 k squared upon x. Now as far as the coefficient goes, as far as the value of q goes, that is equal to 80 k squared, okay? Now according to the question, p was equal to 6 q, okay? Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, p is equal to 6 q. So that means 480 is equal to 6 into 80 k square. So let's see what for what, what, what this equation turns it to. So 480 into 400 and equals to 480 k square. All right, so this looks nice. So k square is equals to 480 upon 480, which means it's equal to one, which means k is equals to plus and minus one. And that's it. That is the correct answer you can see here. So that's it for this video. I hope you've understood the concept that I've covered. And uh, that's it. See you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.